In the introductional presentation of encoders and decoders, I told you that we use decoders for the logic design like we did in case of multiplexers. Now what is the advantage of using the decoders in place of the conventional method of logic implementation? The first advantage is that we are going to use a single IC but in conventional method we require so many gates and wires. So the space is reduced when we implement a logic by using the decoders and also the cost. So instead of taking a random example I have taken full adder to understand this topic. So this topic is all about the implementation of full adder by using a 3 cross 8 decoder. So let's move to it. On the left hand side of your screen you can see the truth table for full adder. This truth table is being repeated so many times till now. So this must be a familiar truth table to you. In this we are having two numbers A, B. Both are single bit number and we want to add them. Also we are taking the carry in account from the previous sum. This makes it full adder. I hope you know what is full adder. And uh, the outputs are sum and carry output. I have already written the values for the sum and carry output that you can find by yourself by simply adding them and checking for the sum and the carry generated. Let's write down the min terms. This is your M0, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, M6, M7. So we are having from M0 to M7 min terms for sum and our carry output. Let's write the functions fs for sum it is equal to summation of m1 for sum it is high when the a b are 0 and c in is 1 the min term m2 m4 and m7 so i can write m1 m2 m4 m7 similarly i can write the function for your carry output it is summation m3 m5 m6 m7 so m3 m5 m6 m7 okay now let's move to the most important part of this presentation you can see a 3 cross 8 decoder on the right hand side and uh, by 3 I mean we are having 3 inputs and by 8 I mean we are having 8 outputs okay now let's say I assume these 3 inputs are nothing but your first number A your second number B and the carry from the previous sum which means A B C in so depending upon the different values or different combinations we are having the different outputs because you know the functionality of the decoder let me tell you once again if A is 0, B is 0, C in is 0 it means that this output will be considered and this output is nothing but your M0 because when A, B, C are 0, 0, 0 we are having M0 similarly when it is 0, 0, 1 we are having M1 and when it is 1, 1, 1, we are having M7 and for all the cases. So I can write M2, M3, M4, M5, M6. This implementation is very simple because we are directly having our min terms as the output. So the only thing we need is to use the OR gate and take the output. So let's see how we have to do this thing. For the sum, we are having min terms 1, 2, 4, 7. So I will take 1, 2, 4 and 7. I will give it as the input to one OR gate and the output will be your sum okay very simple similarly for your carry output we are having min terms 3 5 6 7 so I will take 3 5 6 7 use another OR gate 
and all the inputs will go in it and the output will be your carry output so this is how we do the combinational logic design by using the decoders and this is the implementation of full adder by using the 3 cross 8 decoder we are having our 3 inputs a b c in the first number the second number and the carry from the previous sum the sum after adding a b c in and the carry output after the addition so this is all for this presentation and we are done with our combinational part in the next presentation we will start the sequential part so see you in the next one